G'day, fellas, and welcome to a casted game. Spawning up on the north side of the map, we've got Lee Nock, who is playing as the French. His opponent, who spawns to the south of the map. We've got Wham01, who is also playing the French. Now, if you're unfamiliar with either of these fellas, I want to let you guys know that they are both individually absolute beasts. Now, you might be rolling your eyes a little bit. You might be saying, French, Mira. Ugh, I don't want to watch French. That's disgusting. Well, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me stop you right there. If there was going to be a single mirror match that you would have to watch, what would it be and why? For me, it would be the French. And you want to know why it would be? And it's it's because of the Royal Knight. I genuinely think the Royal Knight actually makes French mirrors very exciting. And the reason why is because it's actually about early map control and about having control of the map, being able to head into your opponent's base at a whim and take out some of those villages. But speaking of taking out some of those villages at a whim, have a look at this spawn that Lee Knock has got. It looks like he might be walled in completely. We've got ourselves a very beautiful spawn coming in here for Lee Knock. He's going to be indefensible. Indefensible? He's going to be absolutely defensible? What's the opposite of indefensible? I mean, he's going to be defensible uh <laughs> lee, not, lee not gonna be very very strong here um so this wall this should be open but for whatever reason a tree line just decided to spawn here 17 trees in particular just decided to say hey stuff you man uh but uh this map in particular it is a very popular map for the french and there's a couple of reasons why but uh, if you've ever watched a don arty video you will know exactly why that is and that is because of the red palace now unfortunately it hasn't been the best spawn for leenock uh if we do like a little a little bit of a measurement i'm just going to move our camera out over to the west here so that we can begin measuring uh so you've got roughly uh 712 pixels to the middle here versus what is about 1200 pixels to the middle there uh but it gets even worse because that's as the bird flies or as the crow flies uh whereas if you actually go on foot it's a straight line to the middle whereas for lee knock you have to come around like that quite a hook double the length for him uh and so that really creates a bit of an issue for lee knock with regard to reinforcements uh with regard to challenging that site and of course uh by the same token for wham it's going to be very easy for him to set up and try and uh and hold that sacred site so you know this map in particular one of those ones that can be a little bit rng dependent and uh once again we are seeing it today uh with the way that wham is uh is getting his spawn in uh, but Wham with a very interesting build. Already five villagers on gold at this point. Uh, actually, I think this just might be the Kenoki build. At eight, eight and five split. Uh, yeah, it is actually the Kenoki build. Eight and five split. He's just got the two on the mill. Uh, so early wheelbarrow? No, no early wheelbarrow? It's an eight and five split with no wheelbarrow? Weird. Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, so we'll check out what uh, what's going on on the other side of the map. Doesn't look like we've got an early wheelbarrow coming out for either player. Um... But uh, interestingly, uh, another thing to note is you've kind of got like down here, you've got just all stone and then like above it, you've got just all gold. That was, that was a little bit weird. Uh, but yeah, you can see like there's a couple of like stones thrown in, uh, but uh, for the most part, it's just all gold. Uh, but I mean, our French player on the south side here is going to be very uh, able uh, to go and, and capture up these, uh, these stones over this side. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder towards the base of his opponent though. But um. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how the game plays out. So I'm a big fan of this. Now, guys, this is part of the uh, series uh, hosted uh, by the uh, the Dominicus. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so I'm going to leave a link in the description over towards them. Or at least I'm going to try and hope that I remember to put a link in the description towards their Twitch page so you can check them out when they go live. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, we, we're going to be talking also a little bit about N4C. So right now, when you guys are watching this game, I'm going to be down on the ground in Berlin. Uh, their N4C is going to be happening. If you're unfamiliar with that game or well, that, that uh, event, that is a $100,000 tournament. It's hosted uh, by Nilly, sponsored by Microsoft, includes casters like uh, Grubby, includes casters like uh, Aussie Drongo, if you've ever heard of that guy. Uh, and also going to have, obviously, Nilly there as well as Dave. Uh, going to be casting up some AoE 4. And it, there's going to be so much, so much content. Just literally weeks worth of content for you guys. It is going to be a great time. So I reckon you guys come over there, say good day, check it out. Let's talk a little bit more about this game. Both players now hit, reaching that age up at the exact same time. When we talk about mirror maps or mirror matchups, this is definitely a mirror match. Both players mirroring their build orders down to a T. Early night going to be coming out here for Wham. We'll check over on the other side of the map. Lee not going to be also going for an early night. Very interesting. Both players now getting up towards that five-minute mark. And you can see 
that uh, both both players are going to be looking for that early wheelbarrow as well. At least uh, Lee Nock is. Uh, we'll check and see. It doesn't look like uh, Wham did actually pick up that early wheelbarrow. A lot of villagers taking damage, though. Knight going to be coming out here, denying the scout harass that's coming through. Uh, on the other side of the map, I really wouldn't be surprised if we actually just see a nice little wall come in, something like that. Uh, it would be perfect. Keeps keeps the hunt nice and safe and also uh, is going to enable just that safety and uh, and protection. So we'll have a look and see how uh, how Lee Knock looks to play it. But see, he's going to be bringing those scouts back now. Royal Knight going to be coming out as well. Going to be dropping down a stable. Now, this is the right play. Uh, typically, in a French mirror, this is one of the things that I, I harp on. You do not want to be the player that makes spears. If you make spears, you will lose the game. Now, that's, that's obviously in a perfect world. I was doing a lot of coaching with Chopper. Uh, in if if uh, you've ever seen a French player, uh, and, and typically the, the reason why you don't want to make spears as French is because then you're on the back foot. And what's going to happen here, so as the knight comes in, we'll be able to talk about this a little bit. Uh, but uh, he's going to come in. He's going to look to try and pick off a villager. You can see he's going to be able to get the first villager. He tries to get a little pull there. Actually does a pretty decent job with that pull. Uh, looks like we've got some scout on scout action as well. Uh, but essentially what's going to happen is even with that those spears out, uh, even on the wood line here like that, even if you've got, say, four or five spears, uh, these guys are going to still lose their lives. It's just not going to be enough to stop them. Um, and so I wouldn't be surprised if we see a second knight come in from that northern position and uh, and look to do a little bit of damage. But we'll check back in with Leenok. We'll see exactly what he's up to now that he's added in the second stable. Chivalry is going to be the way that he plays. And we can actually see him moving knights back towards his, uh, his gold mine. Uh, but now... Doing a great job there on the front line, using the uh, the scout to screen uh, for that uh, that royal knight. Doing a really good job, uh, getting it in front. You can see more scouts coming out, and do we have a potential professional scouts? We do. Whammo one going to be going for professional scouts up against Lee Knock, and I got to say I like this. Some pretty cool moves here, and already we see that royal knight now coming in. Look at those spears getting in there on that uh, that gold mine, and really just stopping those royal knights from coming in. Uh, now, once these spears reach their critical mass. They're going to be fine. But the problem is, if Lee Nock ever decides to add in archers, it's going to be very easy for him to pick those bad boys up. But now on the back line, it looks like we've got ourselves a good old classic night war. You might be wondering, Drongo, that's not classic. It is not classic. Age of Empires 4 has only been out for a couple months, so of course it can't be classic, but looks like a, a villager kill going to be going in the favor of Wham. Might potentially lose his knight here. A little bit of a block. Look at this. He's going for a block. Wham 01. Yep, he's going to be losing that knight. Very, very cool block coming in right there uh, from uh, from Lee Nock. We're starting to see this more at the higher levels where players are going for these body blocks. We saw it earlier in a game that Salami had played. We see it again now in a game that Lee Nock plays. So be looking out for those body blocks. That is some good stuff. Look at all the spears just sitting there. Uh, are these guys on hold position? They are too. Look at them all sitting there on hold position on stand ground just ready to like... They're just waiting patiently, idly. Uh, and, and so, like, at, at this point in time, Wham's feeling pretty good about himself, right? Like, he's got his professional scouts. He's, he's casually, like, bringing those in. But keep in mind, okay? That's a lot of resources he's invested in bringing in this food. Whereas, you know, Lee Nock, on the other hand, he's just going to be able to come out. I mean, I, I say he's going to be able to come out, but let's be honest. He's not really coming out to here. And he's at, he's at a very close spawn to the hill. Oh, man, this is, this is kind of tough for Lee Nock when you think about it, right? Let, let just... Let, let's look at this within, like, a vacuum, right? you got player number one who's got his spawn of deer that is literally right back here from the town center. Second spawn, right here. And then you've got, like, up, up to the north, you've got deer on a hill versus deer out this far. It's a bit, a bit, bit of a weird spawn. Man, spawns in this game, I really wish they'd locked them down a bit more. They absolutely crazy at the moment like obviously you can see that this is the king of the hill map uh but uh you know it, it just it doesn't feel right it just doesn't feel right wham now gonna be under a bit of stress here as uh lee knock looking to try and make ends meet does look like uh wham gonna get spotted at, or gonna be able to spot out those uh those those knights and archers now gonna be coming out and this is exactly what we talked about earlier so this archer combination is really what's going to hurt here so ideally you want to be screening even just with a couple knights here there's uh there's plenty of spears though gonna begin coming out and wham looks like he's gonna have to fall back a couple of uh couple of wolves getting in on the action as well i really wish i could just disable that sound but uh yeah, you can see the, the units. We'll have a look at what kind of mass we've got beginning to build up for Wham here. So it looks like it's going to be a double barracks and just a single stable. A bit of a raid coming back towards that uh, towards the base of Lee Nock. Now, Lee Nock trying to hold on for dear life for his defenses. 
and uh, and managing to repel these. But at the same time, keep in mind that uh, the knight the knights just ideally just want to be hitting a villager once and then be moving away. So a bit of a waste right there. But uh, speaking of waste, we got ourselves a little bit of a fight. Apologies for missing this earlier. Uh, looks like one knight's already gone down. A couple of uh, spears also going down. Managing to, to do a fair bit of damage. Although these knights have got full health, I'd be getting back in here. This is a fight that you win every single day of the week, Leenok. And that's exactly what he's going to be doing. You can see those spears getting back down onto the ground. Now going to be looking to get those shots out. He needs to be microing out these spears, making sure that he pulls back his royal knights. Oh, he's not doing it. So ideally what you want to be doing, move this guy back, move this guy back, move this guy back. That's exactly what he does. You see him pull back that, that royal knight, doing the right thing. He wants to avoid losing those, uh, those knights. And now, I mean, this is another good trade that he can take. He can just keep taking good trades all day over here. But uh, speaking of good trades, it looks like he's going to be picking up another knight down for his opponent. We'll tune in with the military. You can see Lee Nock has killed 22 units. Wham, only 10. And this is part of the reason why you typically do want to avoid making spears in these French mirrors. It's just so hard to keep up with your opponent just when they've got those big, large masses of royal knights. And that's exactly what I expect that we'll see as the game uh, continues to unfold. It looks like a second stable going to be coming out now for Wham. Uh, but uh, keep in mind, he's got those professional scouts out on the map. Slowly pulling in. What are you guys doing? Get back there. What are you guys doing? Get back there. And uh, Wham slowly pulling in this food. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually heads out in this direction. But it looks like on the top of the hill, Lee not going to be dropping down that mill. I mentioned earlier about this. Uh, and, and this is the, the difference when you've got map control is that you don't even need to go for professional scouts. You can just very simply go and drop the mill out there. Now, keep in mind, he's got that wheelbarrow tech, so he's going to get great value on these huntable deer. So very, very smart moves already coming out here from uh, from Leenok. But now, a bit of a push coming out. You can see all of those spears getting down on the ground. Some big charges coming off there. Needs to be pulling back these low health units. We'll be watching to, to, for him to do that. One of these knights coming down pretty low. He's got to be careful not to lose it, but uh, you, th this is part of the reason why you avoid making spears. Outnumbered consistently, continually going down, the mass keeps growing. So you, got, you really need to think about it in terms of like your your military value, right? Like Because at the moment, Leenok, he's going up like that and he gets all these beautiful traits. Whereas Wham, you know, he, he's making army, but then he loses a few spears. And then he makes a few more and then loses a few more. Makes a few more, loses a few more. So he's constantly behind. And mean, meanwhile, Leenok is just shooting up like that. And you can see that you've got like these massive difference between these two players just simply because of the repeated trades that the Royal Knights have been having. And so this is really where strength uh, really comes in and, and sort of um, where you see the, the difference in these matchups. It, it's part of the reason why it's my favorite matchup because I, I'm still yet to see a, a, uh, a high-level game where the Spearman player actually wins. So we'll see today. Maybe Wham can pull out a victory. But uh, speaking of victory, it looks like that Town Center going to be finding a victory over that Knight, but the Knight going to be finding a victory over multiple villages. There's not just one, but there was two, three villages that all went down in this area. So very unfortunate there for Leenok. A quick stock take reveals he's got 43 villages at the moment up against the 43 of his opponent. So both players absolutely even. And now up towards the north, it looks like Wham is managing to steal away some of the hunt of his opponent. So uh, failing to wall in or identify that a wall around this area would be a very successful wall. Oh my lord, that is a fat pen, Drongo. What are you doing out there? Yeah, let's get one of those skinny pens back. But uh, another raid coming in out here for Wham. He's doing a great job. Looks like we've got one villager that goes down, second villager that goes down, third villager that goes down as well. And uh, now we are in for ourselves a little bit of a chase as more villagers are going to be going down. Oh, it's absolutely terrible damage. Apologies for missing this one. Lee knock on 37 villagers, 40 coming out for Wham. So it looks like the only trade really uh, was a villager or two and maybe a couple of spears in the mix. But uh, these guys are absolutely trading it out. Now at the same time, it looks like he might have been caught with his pants down on the front lines. Villagers in amongst the trees. Also going to be going down a few spears getting in as well. And we got the try composition now going to be coming out for Lee knock. He knows what is up. Still yet to see any walls coming out for Lee Nock, and I would absolutely love to because a single wall, as I mentioned earlier, you know, you get that single wall in there. What is that? 60 wood. It's going to save you any raids from that position. You can definitely wall in on this side as well. I mean, it's just an absolute dream. Like, this is this is a, a, a boomer's dream or a, def, a turtle's dream. It is just so damn good to wall in. Uh, but uh, we'll see how Lee Nock plays it out. Continuing to expand towards the middle of the map. I love the way that he's including a single scout with his Royal Knights out here. Keep in mind the scout runs at the exact same speed as the Royal Knight. So you're not at a disadvantage by including it with your army. Whereas the Horseman, which runs at 1.88 movement speed, you are at a disadvantage of including that with your army. We'll tune over or head over to the income per minute now. Begin to track those two, those metrics. A little bit of a bad trade now for Leenok is as one of those, uh, one of the Knights does go down. 
It looks like uh, not going to be coming back into it. He's heading back. Uh, we'll check on the upgrade, see how he's doing. In debt. And does manage to get the Hardened Spearman upgrade. Only the plus one. So nothing else coming through for him just yet. And a huge raid back home uh, towards the base of Wham now. Wham really going to be trying to keep up with his opponent. But you can see the mass numbers are just so significant at this point. And uh, these guys are going to be able to get away. Going to be able to do fine. Looks like a villager going to be going down underneath the tree there. Scout also going to be going down. Couple of, uh, couple of knights going to be going down here too. And now Archer's pushing in. Big raid as well. Oh my lord, this is absolutely terrible. And back towards the base now of his opponent. Lee not going to be trying to defend a raid once again. You can see that these players just absolutely trading out. Villager for villager. 44 villagers now for Wham. Lee Nock's side, he's on 40 villagers. So still not a lot of difference in it. About 10%. And going to be chasing these away, but they're heading towards a, uh, a hunt on the hill. You got to be careful because there's villagers up there, Leenok. He corrals those knights up towards his own villagers, manages to get them past there. So he manages to keep them alive. But uh, keep in mind, he's going to be able to run back towards here. I would draw out that wall once more. But now we've got a Wham going to be drawing out his own walls. Beautiful walls now coming up for Wham. I absolutely love this. I think it's a smart move. Would also love to see a wall out on this extremity and uh, maybe even across here. Look to try and control the flow of enemy units. But uh, speaking of flow of enemy units, Wham continuing to fight back. Uh, he's sitting on 20 military at the moment versus 27. So still relatively close. And keep in mind, spears are now starting to get added in for Lee Nock as well as those archers. But uh, still we see those large forces of Royal Knights out on the map. And look at this raid just coming through, getting cleaned up completely. Leenok doing a great job of just following this around and forcing it out. We'll take a look at the upgrades that Leenok's got. Fertilization yet to be upgraded because he's not in age, age three yet, but he does have horticulture. Uh, does also have double broad axe. We'll take a look and see if we've got specialized pick. We don't have it just yet. Some villagers evacuating. Uh, from that uh, that gold mine. But we'll tune in now with Wham. Wham on board. And he is going to be raiding the heck. This is absolute massacre territory right now. We've got just complete raids going down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight villagers all going down right there. Wham doing a great job of raiding. 49 villagers for Wham. 37 for Ling Noki is down by 12 villagers. And this is a French mirror. So this is not a, a matchup that you want to be behind on villagers. Leenok absolutely in shambles right now. Needs to needs to find a way back into this game because if this game continues going, if this is a game that lasts longer than 30 minutes, Leenok's going to have a terrible time trying to keep up with his enemy. He's going to have a much greater economy. You can see up at the top of the screen right here. Just look at the difference. Like Wham, significantly ahead in food, significantly ahead uh, with regard to his, uh, his wood income as well. Why can't I move my mouse? Why is that not working? Sorry. I'm, tr I'm trying to... Oh, oh you know why? Because I my brain is thinking I'm playing Age of Empires 3. I'm like, I'm trying to move with my right click. It didn't work. I got to move with my middle mouse button. I was playing Age of Empires 3 earlier. That's why. That's why my brain didn't quite work. Uh, apologies, guys. Apologies. But uh, yeah, you can see just in, with regard to the food count, with regard to the wood count, doing so well. Obviously, Lee Knock a little bit higher on the gold count. Um, but uh, yeah, just huge raids again coming in. Lee Knock under significant pressure now. 37 villagers for him. 50 to a, a villager lead of 15 now coming out for Wham. He's beginning to wall up as well. And I got to say, I absolutely love this. Walls coming up as well for Leenok on this west side. East side of the base still very, very open. And as a result, he gets punished with that raid. So Wham looking incredible now. Towards the front of the base, we've got ourselves a little bit of a battle, ladies and gentlemen. As it begins to unfold, we're going to be witnessing some absolute good stuff right now. And uh, we've got the knights that are managing to get in underneath this talent center, trying to actually pick a fight with the... Uh, the spears and going to be able to do a very strong job. You can see that town center just focusing down the knights, but ideally needs to be focusing down the archers and now turns its attention towards there. At the same time, it looks like all of these spears are going to be trying their best to hold on. Ideally, he just wants to attack move these knights. He's got so many knights in here. He's completely able to overwhelm his opponent. There's a significant villager lead right now for Wham, but when it comes to the military, he is getting completely overwhelmed. Wham, not looking pretty at this point in time. We'll get that bad boy back up here and uh, begin to witness the carnage that is unfolding. 23 items at the moment 53 villages in total for wham compare that to the 33 so a 20 villager difference now between these two players at the same time a more raids going on behind this wham trying his best to get ahead and at the same time leenok now looking for villages he's hunting and uh he's really trying his best but oh lordy never mind he's got, he's got a gate he can run through he's not even fussed another spear gonna get picked up leenok 
Uh, now, one of the things that I just want to sort of draw your attention back to is that whole concept of making and adding those spears in the early game. That's really what has driven this difference in military. And so the question is going to be whether Lenok is able to use his military to bring himself back into the game. Obviously, there's a lot of raids going along or going on at home. If we take a look here, three, 33 villagers for Lenok, 52 for Wham. So a 19 villager difference between these two guys. But really, the, the, the primary difference here is going to be the military count as well. 16 for Wham, 21 uh, for Lenok. And a lot of those are Royal Knights. And we can now see those Royal Knights moving out towards the villagers. A little bit of a massacre on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Call the Geneva Convention. I don't even think you can call the Geneva Convention, but I tell you what you can do. You can slight it. And I can tell you right now, my friend, you are in, you are in uh, in grave contravention of the Geneva Convention. That is a massacre. It's not pretty. Oh gosh, it's not it's not looking pretty good right now. But uh, I mean, we've got Wham over this side who is sneakily taking away the uh, the deer of Lenok, and this has been an absolutely beautiful game uh, to watch unfold so far. Another raid going to be going down. Oh, we've got some more villagers going down. One, two, three, four. Looks like it might have been a fit back here as well. We have got villagers. Indeed, there was a fit that has gone down. Uh, there is just villagers going down absolutely everywhere. 29 villagers for Lenok at this point in the game. He is down so far. 47 villagers for Wham. He is up by about, uh, what, what have we got? About an, yeah, no, an 18 villager lead still at this point in the game. It's huge. It is absolutely huge. There is just action all over. And so, I mean, uh, you know, earlier in the game, I mentioned, you know, if I was going to pick wi uh, Civilization as to, you know, if I had to watch a mirror match, which one would it be? It would 100% be the French mirror. And this is exactly why. We've got Royal Knights. And you might even be saying, well, Drongo, what about a Rus mirror? And I'd be looking at you like, <laughs> oh, you're funny. You are funny. Get out. Get out. No, seriously. Don't even joke about Rus mirrors. Get out. We don't talk about Rus mirrors. I've had enough. I've had enough. If I see another Rus mirror in... In the, in the next six months, if I see a Rus mirror, I will literally throw this computer win out, the, out the window. Out the window. I'm done with Rus mirrors. Speaking of Rus mirrors, well, speaking of destruction, uh, we've got a quite a bit of a find down here. Hey, you Spears, you got to be getting up here. It's, yeah, we need somebody to help out over here. We need somebody to help out over here. Uh, a lot of villagers going to be going down on this gold mine. It's not looking pretty. Uh, I'm going to do some quick counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. But I feel like it was so many more than eight. I, I just think a lot of these bodies of... Yeah, you can see there's like bodies everywhere. There's bodies everywhere. It's absolutely terrible. Uh, so Lenok trying to even up 33 to 38. Lenok actually evening up the uh, the village account quite well. There's a five village account difference. But yeah, th this is the whole reason why I love this matchup. Because the Royal Knight uh, is just really what makes the difference. It's able to heal up. So you can keep it out the map on the map forever constantly trading constantly killing villagers constantly escaping managing like look you, you get these bad terrible trades in and then you just run your royal knights out for 60 seconds and they're back up you know to half health it's absolutely ludicrous it's absolutely ludicrous how good these royal knights are and we are continuing to see how good they are how they unfold and now knights on the front line managing to isolate those berries at the same time we've just got raids going down everywhere it looks like a couple of knights going to be coming in now looking to secure up the uh, the kills on these other knights town center getting in on the action as well might be a, the death of a royal knight and, and indeed it looks like we may see one and now royal knights back home we've got more raids coming out and you know you can't do this with any other civilization if you're sitting there thinking oh yeah horsemen can do this <laughs> no they cannot horsemen do like six damage bro get out of here Get out. Don't even suggest it. I mean, you, you and the Russ mirror guy, you guys can go together. Horsemen just don't work. Get them out of here. And, and like, and, and Rus, you know, even if we were to talk about a land map, they don't have the heal, which really, you know, affects the longevity of these units. Uh, but uh, the Royal Knight is just such a great unit when it comes to these mirrors. So damn strong. Always able to heal up. Always able to be in your enemy's base. Lenok looking good at the moment. Uh, but uh, at the same time, you know, Wham now finally going to be adding some walls in. Jeez Louise, we come into the 24th minute and Wham says, you know what? I've been raided a little bit this game. I've, I may have lost a few villagers in this game. Maybe I should add in a wall. Yeah, Wham, good, good thinking, Wham. <laughs> good thinking, fella. It's about time. We're only into the 24th minute. Wham under significant attack. Village account at 41 at the moment for Wham. Lenok on the other side of the map, 38 for him. Uh, so realistically, not a lot of difference between these two players. Another raid going to be getting cleaned up on the south side of the map. Wham slowly and steadily starting to look a little bit better. And these forces continuing to increase. Villagers uh, escaping out. Scout's going to be chasing down the remainder of those forces and 
trying his best to get this uh, this large wall up, but uh, not having a lot of luck at this stage. Uh, when we look at the military count, it's 25 versus 36. So Lenok with a significant advantage. Nine hardened spearmen out as well. Got that tri-unit composition. Going to be trying to link up with these units that are on the front line. Let's see how he does it. What kind of upgrades are we talking about back here? Uh, full upgrades? Nope. Just uh, just got the melee upgrades at this stage. Spear's going to be coming out. Quite a bit of a spear mass coming out here as well for Wham. Wham going to be trying his best to, to get in on top of these Royal Knights, having not a lot of luck, but actually doing a pretty decent job. Now, keep in mind, ideally, you want to be trying your best to try and micro your Royal Knights, but you don't want to have them fighting up against these spears. Wham looking incredibly strong as Lenok going to be falling back in this position. More reinforcements now coming in for Lenok as we watch the spears on the front line taking up against the spears of his opponent. Ideally, wants to have these up fighting against the, the cavalry units that he's got. Now the archer is going to actually be pushing back in this position. A little bit of a mistake. So from Wham, ideally with your spearmen, you don't want to be fighting against other spearmen. That is not a good trade. You want to be on top of those royal knights and unfortunately doesn't get it off. At the same time, on the back line, we've got Lenok just teeing off towards these hardened spearmen. And I tell you what, when we're talking about getting hard, you know, they say Dark Holes was, Dark Holes was hard. Dark Souls was hard. I'm hard right now. This is insane gameplay coming out from Lenok. This is incredible stuff. We've got 42 and 17 versus 46 and 12. We are 26 minutes through this game, and it doesn't even look like any player is even thinking about the Castle Age at this point in time. Oh man, this is a tough freaking game. This is this is a tough. Uh, this is a game I would absolutely hate to play. Lenok actually going to be thinking about the Castle Age. That could definitely be the nail in the coffin for this for this uh, for this game. My main concern is that there is a window here. If uh, if Lingnok does go up to the next age, there is a, the possibility that Wham may look to overrun him. We'll do a quick score check and see where these players are at. You can see Lingnok slightly ahead, about 250 points at this point in time. We'll check in with the, the military. 156 versus 140 as we continue to watch these Royal Knights being chased away. And I tell you what, if you watch this game and you think, well, Royal Knights are perfectly balanced. I got news for you, friend. They ain't. They're incredibly strong. Such a great unit coming out. Um, but uh, now it looks like we've got... Jeez, like that's how far into the game that we are right now. We literally have players in the middle of the map collecting wood. He has gone through this wood line here. Uh, but now going to be coming towards the front here, looking to potentially attack. Multiple gates coming up now as well. Up towards the north, it looks like. Units getting cleaned up. Villagers out in the middle of the map. Boar getting taken, actually. And uh, it looks like down towards the south, or the, uh, down towards the west side. I don't even know what was out here. We've got a berry bush. Still no horticulture coming in from for Wham. We'll check and see what other upgrades he's managed to get. Uh, no specialized pick. Um, we've got no wood upgrades. It's not looking pretty. Uh, Wham does... Actually, he is getting fertilization now. Uh, and has gotten wheelbarrow. Obviously got professional scouts as well. Uh, so good to see him getting fertilization. We'll check and see where he's getting fertilization. He's got to be getting it somewhere, right? He's got to be getting it somewhere, right? There she is. I knew it was somewhere. I knew it was somewhere. Avoid that over chop, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like they've managed to fix up that wall. Lenok now reaching the third age, going up with the guild hall. We'll take a look at how he does it. He's keeping it on food at this point in time. And uh, has managed to add in a fair bit of infrastructure around the TC. Nine farms at this point in time. Actually, we can click here. 15 farms at this point in time. So he's added in some farms out over to the west. Adding in another farm... Or adding in another mill. Going to be farming that bad boy up as well. And I think he might be going for a sacred site. Something tells me he might be going for that sacred site. We'll see what he does. Do we have... Doesn't look like a monastery. F4. No monastery yet. Going for veteran spears. So we can see the veteran upgrade now coming through. Looks like he's going to be adding in some spearmen. So no veteran royal knights. Actually does have veteran royal knights already. Uh, so he is in in the third age. Very happy. Uh, we'll check in with Lee Nock. Um shortly uh 51 and 16 versus 54 and 18 so both players very even at this point in time just main thing is lee knock had a lot more infrastructure when it came to the farms he was very advanced with his farm positioning uh already having i think it was 15 farms down so he was looking very very good and but now we now we actually see the farms getting added in by wham a little bit of a delay here in this and this comes down to not having that uh that lumber preservation or rather that uh, that double broad axe uh, and uh, so it means that he's going to have gathered up less wood, subsequently less capable of building those farms. But now we see a little bit of a harassment beginning to build down towards this western flank. Wham! Finally uh, going to be able to respond to it. But uh, a little bit of a lull in the battle between these two players. We'll head over towards the income per minute so you guys are able to track that a little bit more clearly. And uh, now it looks like towards the front we've got multiple attacks going to be coming in for Lee Nock. 
He's got the uh, the Royal Knights on the left side, or on the right side. On the left side, we've got the, the veteran spears coming out with, uh, with just a handful of archers here. Uh, no other units really coming out at this point. No other, yeah, just really going to be going with the, the spear Royal Knight composition. And it's a very smart composition for him to be going with. Sitting in the middle here. Yet to add in that monastery and yet to add in a siege workshop at this stage. But uh, looking absolutely menacing. Now picked up the plus two. The, the uh, I know Damascus Steel is the third one. I can't remember what the second one is. Decarbonization. Uh, so yet to pick up decarbonization. Or has picked up decarbonization, obviously. The civilization bonus for the French. But Wham now. Going to be looking to click up a little bit of Miss Macro here from him. He's got a, an extra 1,500 gold in the bank. Just chilling out here. What do you think you're playing, mate? Age of Empires 3. Going to research mercantilism with that. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Age up going to be coming down. Double stable also going to be coming down here. Now, veteran spears is where things start to get a little bit crazy because veteran spears, very easy to combine with the crossbows. So you've got to be careful about adding in too many of those. And Royal Institute going to be coming up here for Wham. This is a good play. I like this, but this could be a disaster right now as uh, he continues to be, be pushing into the base. You can see 19 villagers working on that Royal Institute. Unfortunately, not a lot of units coming out right now for Wham. It looks like he's going to get caught with, caught with his pants down. Veteran units going up against those the the of uh, the feudal age units it's going to be absolutely terrible for wham as he loses uh, begins to lose more and more of those spears you can see he's got so much infrastructure that has come up but unfortunately no uh no research that's come through yet no tech no veterancy just yet and you can see the veterancy now coming through for those i would expect that we probably see royal bloodlines coming through as well but the main thing to note there's the royal bloodlines is there's not or at least it doesn't seem like there's a lot of a lot of cavalry out right now let's check and see if i can find the units yeah there's literally no cavalry units out right now for Wham. It doesn't feel good. Now beginning to lose even more of his resources. You can see all of these farms worth 75. So that's 1, 2, 150. So that's 600 wood right there that has literally just been thrown out in a matter of seconds. Really, really tough. Uh, he doesn't really mind losing the Royal Institute as long as he gets the Royal Bloodline tech in. He's going to be fine. Doesn't really need to worry about Cantled Saddles. But looks like he's going to be doing a full switch. Uh, in this position. Now, the one thing is Lenok should recognize this. Lenok will see the Royal Institute. He will know that Royal Bloodlines is probably going to be the tech that he's going for. So the only real way that Lenok could lose this is if there was a big switch. Not a big switch, but a huge amount of cavalry that came in from his opponent. So I would expect that Lenok on the back line is probably just going to be looking to add in more and more barracks. And that's exactly what we see. Actually going to be throwing out men at arms in this position. So very curious uh, when it comes to that. But Royal Bloodlines might not even come in here. You can see it's got 23 seconds to go. 1400, 1200 health. And good game. Going to get called. Lenok going to be taking the victory there. Wham tap out an, a marathon game between these two an absolute slug fest between these two fellas i hope you guys understand why it is i absolutely love french mirrors because that was an amazing game good game well played i'll catch you guys in the next one